Good morning class. I hope all of you are doing fine. So we are going to continue with our chapter. Which chapter? Clauses. In that we were doing adverb clause. Okay. We were doing adverb clause. And in that also, in that also, we had to do what? The types. Types of adverb. Types of adverb clause. Okay. So, what are the types of adverb clause? How many are there? All kinds you can say. Here it is given according to time. You can place then reason, manner, and the last one is comparison. Okay, these are the types or kinds of adverb clause. So. When I when I returned home, I found my dog missing. So time, the answer is when. Okay. Place, where. Reason is why. And answer, I'm sorry, manner is how. And comparison means compares. So an adverb clause of time shows the time of action. Ki ye action kam hua. Okay, time shows the time of action when this particular action took place. At what time? Example and adverb clause of time. shows the time of action time of action am I clear? now the example would be what would be the example? example is the match was stopped the match was stopped The match was stopped when it started to rain. When it started. Okay. To rain. Okay. So, adverb clause of time would be when it started to rain. So, it's showing the time of action. When the action is being taken place. So, the answer is when it started to rain. Am I clear? So, it usually introduces, sorry, it, uh, it usually introduced by when, while, as, wherever, after, before or since. Okay. Time of action is usually. Okay. So, I was uh, saying that it is usually introduced by when, while, as, wherever, after, before or since. Okay. Uh, so, we can get to know about the time of action mostly, usually by these words. Now, let's move on to adverb clause of place. It shows where the and what place the action is being taken. For example, I looked for you wherever I could. So, he, he or she is looking for someone wherever. So, the place is not mentioned. It's, it's saying everywhere, wherever I could. Wherever I could think of finding you. So, I looked for you everywhere. So, here, wherever shows the, shows what? 
place of action uh, it means the adverb clause of place now here it it starts it uh, usually starts with where or wherever and the uh, adverb clause of manner would be it shows the manner of action okay example it seemed as if he was lost so his manner of action is being shown here is being represented here okay that it usually starts with as as if as though or in the way so his manners are being shown here manner of action is being shown here and it work of reason it shows the reason behind the action what was the cause of that action for example she went to office because her boss wanted to meet her so the reason behind her going to the office was because her boss wanted to meet her so in this uh, the adverb clause of reason we try to find the reason uh, of that particular action why that particular action is being taken place am i clear now the last one is adverb clause of comparison so here a comparison of qualities takes place example it is cooler than it was yesterday so you are comparing uh, two things you are doing a comparison between uh, two qualities okay so you are comparing today from yesterday so it uh, it is cooler than it was yesterday usually it begins with than no less than or as so you have to remember the terms also so that you can easily identify uh, which uh, adverb clause is being used here okay now let's move on to the exercise so the exercise f underline the adverbial clause in the given stanza first he came late because he missed the bus so what would be the adverb here because he missed the bus so the reason is be why why he came late because he missed the bus so adverbial clause would be first because he missed because he missed the bus am i clear now the second one i wake up before my alarm clock rings so here before my alarm clock rings is the adverbial clause before my alarm clock rings okay i wake up before my alarm clock rings now the third one is he did the homework as he was told by the teachers so as he was told as he was told by the teacher becomes the adverbial clause as he was told by the told by the teacher okay am i clear students so he did the uh, homework as he was told by the teacher now the fourth one it is darker than it was in the morning so a comparison is being taken place we have already discussed this we have to look for the words like than no less than or as so the answer would be fourth would be than 
it was in the morning am i clear students then it was in the morning the fifth one when the cold wind started blowing we came inside the house so the adverbial clause here would be when the cold winds started blowing okay when the cold when the cold winds started blowing okay students now the last one here is she behaved as if she was a celebrity so her manner is being seen here she behaved as if as if is used as in which adverb clause as if is used in adverb of adverb clause of manner so adverbial clause here would be as if she was a celebrity okay as if she was a celebrity am i clear students so students please take down the screenshot so that we can uh, we could move on to the another okay i hope you have taken down the screenshot students now we will be talking about another form of clause which is another form of clause is relative clause so what is relative clauses a relative clause tells us which person or thing is referred to the speaker it can also indicate what kind of person or thing the speaker means words like who which what sorry who which that are used to introduce it it is often an adjective clause which describes a noun or pronoun so students a relative clause can also be an adjective clause okay which describes a noun or a pronoun now use of who in relative pronoun sorry in relative clause we have to first study about the use of use of who okay so in this the subheading is use of who we use who in relative clause when we discuss about people or and not anything okay we uh, use relative uh, we use who when we talk about a person not a thing when we talk about a person not any thing okay so in this we have to focus only on the person when we talk about a person for example the girl who scored the highest marks in english is my cousin so you are talking about a particular person okay who scored uh, highest marks in english a girl a girl who is my cousin okay so we are talking about a person another example the man who wore a black blazer disappeared suddenly so once again you are talking about a person okay the man who wore black blazer suddenly disappears so once again you are talking about a person 
Now, use of which and that. We use that and which when we refer to thing. Okay. So, in the use of who, we talked about a person. Now, use of that and which. Use of that and which. Okay. So, in this, when we talk about a thing, not any person. Okay, students. So, in this, we have to remember that we talk about the thing. In this, we talk about a thing, not a person. And in use of who, we talk about a person, not a thing. Okay? Now, let's move on to the example. I arranged the book. I arranged the books that were scattered on the table. So, you are talking about certain books that were scattered means bikre rana, idhar udhar pade rana, fale rana. Uh, so, uh, here I scattered the books. So, so, we are talking about a thing that is the book that was scattered on the table. Am I clear? Now, next example. I know of a bakery that sells delicious cakes. So, once again, you are talking about a thing, not a person. You are talking about a bakery that sells delicious cakes. Okay? Now, another example. He owns a factory which manufactures cars. Okay? He owns a factory which manufactures cars. So, once again, you are talking about a thing, not a Person, you are talking about a factory that manufactures cars. Now, the last one is the use uh, use of that. So, the heading is use of that. Okay. So, in this, that can be used in place of both as both which and who. But sometimes the word is used in a specific case. Example, after adjectives in superlative degree. So, here in use, uh, use of that, we... So, in the use can be, uh, sorry, that can be used in place of both. We can use that in which also and in who also okay for example you have seen this example the cat jumped uh, in sorry the cat that jumped in is wild so we are using in who okay we are using that instead of who I didn't tell the example, this example earlier because of this heading only. So, we can use that in place of who also. Now, some examples. He is one of the best teachers that I know. So, we are talking about a person with that. So, he is the best uh, tailor that I know. The, another example is, this is the most shocking news I have heard. Okay. So, he is talking about the news with that. So, we can use that after words like all, anything, none and nothing. So, we can use this, uh, that after some words, some certain words like, words like, All, anything, none, and 
nothing. So we have to look for these words. Okay. Now that is used to refer both a thing. I have already told you about this. Ki both the thing, a thing and a person. That is used to refer both a person and a thing. For example, he saw a bird that flew in the sky. So he is also talking about a thing and a person. So omission of who, that, which means hatana, removal. Sometimes we can omit who, that or which from relative clause. Okay. There are certain exceptions where we remove who, that and which. So examples, I want, uh, the car I wanted to buy was too expensive. So in this, if you, uh, if we had to use that, so the sentence would have been, the car I, uh, that I wanted to buy was too expensive, but we have omitted that from here. So the sentence becomes, the car I wanted to buy was too expensive. Another example, the pencil box, Richard bought had a compass. So if we add that would be if we add that the sentence would be the pencil box that Richard bought had a compass. Okay. So we have omitted we have omitted what? That or we could also say that the pencil box which Richard bought had a compass. So, we have also omitted which. The girl I was working with met with an accident. So, the girl who, who I was working with met with an accident. Okay. So, we have omitted who, that and which. Now, use of prepositions in relative clause. Use of preposition. So, read the examples given here and notice the position of preposition in these clauses. She, bought, uh, she found the book that which was looking for. Okay. Now, another would be she found the book she was looking for. The sheet of paper that or you could say which uh, she wrote on was lost. The sheet of paper she wrote on was lost. So in this, see the position of preposition can be seen here. Now let's move on to the exercise G. So the exercise G is rewrite the sentence and leave out means omit which, who, that, wherever they are not required. Okay. So, we have to once again omit. So, the sentence is, this is one of the best cars that I have ever seen. So, we have to remove who, which and that. This is one of the Best car, best cars I have ever seen. Okay, I have ever seen. Am I clear, students? Now, the second one becomes. The first house that we bought was quite small. So the answer is the first house we bought was quite was quite small. Okay students, the first house we bought was quite small. So we have once again omitted that. Okay. Now the third one is, 
the flight that we boarded did not take off on time. So the answer would be the flight. The flight we boarded. We boarded. Oh. Did not take off on time. Okay, the flight we boarded did not take off on time. Am I clear? Student, please take down the screenshot so that I could continue with the exercise. I hope you have taken down the screenshot. We have to begin with the fourth part of the exercise. The dress that was gifted by a mother was beautiful. So we have to omit. So the sentence becomes the dress was gifted. by mother was beautiful okay the dress was gifted by mother was beautiful and the last sentence the man she was talking the man she was talking to is a stranger so in this there is nothing to omit the sentence is the man she was talking to is a stranger so the sentence would remain the same because there is no who which or that. So there is no certain word in this particular sentence. So this sentence would remain the same. The man she was talking to is a stranger. Am I clear students? So please take down the screenshot. Please take down the screenshot. So, beta, now we have to start with use of whose. Okay. So, as we all know that relative uh, clause can also be used as an adjective clause. Okay. So, use of who, use of whom and use of here also comes into the part of relative clause. Okay. So, in adjective clause, we use who instead of sorry we use whose whose uh, instead of his her their mostly for people so in adjective clause we use whose instead of first of all the heading is adjective clause Use of whose. So we use this, we use whose instead of instead of instead of what his her. And there. 
mostly for people mostly for people am i clear students so use of whose we use whose instead of her his and their okay and this is mostly used for people okay now example the little girl whose bag was lost complained to the teacher so we are talking about a person and we are using whose instead of her so the uh, little girl whose bag was lost complained to the teacher okay so uh, whose is the adjective clause sometimes we use for things also sometimes exceptions are there so they arranged a surprise party whose purpose i could not understand so a surprise party was arranged but what was the purpose of that what was the purpose of that surprise party was not understood by this particular person so here the sentence is they arranged they arranged a party whose purpose i could not understand now use of whom use of whom is used in place of her him and them okay now whom is used for whom used for her him and them okay instead of be uh, her him and them we use whom okay for example the lady who we grant a written the lady who we greeted turned out to be a stranger okay the lady whom we greeted turned out to be a stranger okay so another would be they appointed a uh, sorry the boy whom we congratulated is a winner so we are uh, replacing we are using whom instead of her him and them uh, sorry them the boy whom we congratulated is the winner we can also use whom with a preposition also with whom to whom so we can also add a preposition in this whom okay it would become to whom and and what with whom so the example is the person with whom we had lunch he left his office so this particular person with whom we had lunch had left the office the lady to whom i asked is quite aged so the lady to whom i uh, i talked is quite aged okay so we can use preposition also with whom use of preposition uh, is included in whom now last use of where we use where when we refer to a place and we use it in place of there so use of where when we are we use where when we are talking a particular place okay we use where when we are talking about a particular place and this is used instead of there okay there is replaced by where i hope i'm making uh, it's clear because it's 
quite confusing uh, when I'm speaking. Uh, so we use where in place of there. Okay. For example, I visited a place where Mahatma Gandhi lived for a year. So uh, you are talking about some place, a place where Mahatma Gandhi lived for a year. I saw a garden where tall trees grew. So you are talking about one particular garden. So you are so you are talking about a particular place where tall tree grows. Am I clear? Okay. Now let's move on to the exercise. So the exercise is H. Fill in the blanks with whose, who or where. Okay. So first one is the writer dash the people honored is very famous. The writer whom the people honored is very famous. Okay. So the writer whom the people honored is very famous. The second one is the old man dash wallet was lost was worried. The old man whose wallet was lost was worried. Okay. I met a lady dash house is next to the park. I met a lady whose house is next to the park. Now the fourth one, fourth one is, she went to a restaurant dash, they serve only Chinese food. So she went to a restaurant where, where they only serve Chinese food. So the answer is where, okay, because we are talking about a particular place. So when we talk about a place, we use where. Now, I like the school dash my father took me for admission. So, she is talking about a particular place where her father took her for admission. So, I like the school where my father took me for admission. Okay. Now, the last part is the boy dash we saw at the gate was recently shifted to next house. So, dash would be the boy whom. The boy whom we saw at the gate was recently shifted to the next house. Am I clear students? Please take down the screenshot. I hope you have taken down the screenshot students. So, I was saying that, Veda please, please write down all these answers in your copies. Okay? I hope uh, till now I have uh, already asked you to bring your copies. So, I am uh, saying this again and again. To write all these question answers, exercise, whatever I am doing in this uh, video, please write down in your copies. Am I clear? Okay. So class, we would be continuing this uh, particular chapter clauses in our next video. Till then, keep studying, stay healthy, stay safe and also Write down your answers in your notebooks. Am I clear? Bye-bye. Take care.